Hey guys, so today, we have a very easy command tutorial. I will just gonna show you how you can add a cooldown for your skill or ability command. And the commands that I will gonna show you is working for multiplayers too. So every players will have their own cooldown for the skills. So without further ado, let's get started. So, I made a simple ground slam command as an example. It can be activated by holding another star and sneaking. You can see the cooldown displayed on my screen. After activating the skill, it puts the cooldown to 10 seconds. And obviously I won't be able to use the skills for 10 seconds. By the way, I would recommend that you use an item with a unique data value for each skills, so that it can't be activated using normal items. Here I have a normal nether star, and a nether star with a data value of 50. The skill can only be activated by holding the nether star with data value of 50. Holding a normal nether star won't activate the skill. Also, if you've noticed, the cooldown will only be visible if I am holding the specific item. This would be great if you have multiple skills. So yeah, command time. Firstly, let's create a scoreboard objective for the cooldown. Now give yourself the item you prefer to be the skill activator, and make sure you put a data value on that. But for this video, I will use another star with a data value of 50. Now renaming the item is optional. So it's up to you if you want to rename the item. But if you're worrying if it will clear the data value of the item, luckily it will not. Now onto the first command, let's set up the cooldown display. This will display the cooldown on our screen whenever we are holding the nether star with data value of 50. By the way, if you're having a problem to copy this exact command, you can check this command also in the video description. Now the cooldown is visible. Next, we need to make sure that every new players who join the world or server must have the cooldown set to zero. With this, when a player join this world, their skill underscore CD score will be set to zero for the first time. There, there's a zero now. Now to activate the skill. So when I'm holding a nether star with data value of 50 then I crouch, this command will set my skill underscore CD score to 11, only if my skill underscore CD score is at 0. Also you can change the cooldown time here, let's say you want the skill to have a cooldown of 30 seconds, then change the 11 here to 31, just at plus 1 on the cooldown. Now if I crouch, my cooldown should be set to 11. There. 
I have here a command to reset the cooldown in the meantime. Alright time to move to the skill itself. I'm going to add the sound effect first. So if my skill underscore CD score is at 11, this sound will be played. Now let's add the ground smash particle. So if my skill underscore CD score is at 11, this particle will be emitted from me. Now for the damage. So once again, if my skill underscore CD score is at 11, this command will apply 50 damage to any entities within my 5 radius. Now that all the commands for the skill itself is finished, we can now set the cooldown to 10, since this skill is supposed to have a 10 seconds cooldown. So when the skill underscore CD is at 11, this command will set the skill underscore CD to 10. Now let's see. Alright, now to make the cooldown fully functional. So with this, cooldown will now start to count down. Let's check it. I don't need this anymore. Oops, that's quite fast. I forgot, you should set it to repeat and add 20 delay ticks. Now everything should be working. There, add 10 seconds cooldown. Also, since this skill requires a nether star with a data value of 50, nether star from the creative inventory won't work. Alright, so everything is perfect now. So, I would like to mention these people for being there to support the channel. And everyone who are watching this video, you have a wonderful day.